Welcome everyone to Learning with Rev. In this video, we are going to learn how to execute a shell command, such as a bash shell command, directly from your Python program. There may be times when you want to reach out to your shell and execute some command, such as calling out to ffmpeg, pinging a server, or trying to access some sort of remote service that is not directly applicable in Python. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to do so. The first way is with OS system. OS is one of Python's default libraries. Uh, it's easy to run, but one problem with it is it does not return what the shell would return. Normally we would expect echo to return the next argument, uh, but in our case we return zero, which is a success. If we give it a bad system call, like LSL, so you typed in LS wrong, you get a bad return of 32512. This right here is just a remnant of the shell being called. Uh, you cannot access uh, this part that's currently being printed out. Second way is to use os.popen. Uh, the only real difference is instead of doing a direct system call, it actually uses a pipe uh, to the shell and returns what the shell would print out. So we will execute this cell here. As we could see, our good return returns what should be echoed, and our bad return returns nothing. So out of the three methods, I would say this is the one I would recommend the least because you get the, le the least amount of information, especially when it's a bad call. This is a shell error, not a external error. The one I would recommend the most, if you know that your shell call is legitimate and your arguments will be legitimate, is process.popen. This actually opens a subprocess within the Python, within your Python environment, and since we are using this std out equals subprocess.pipe, it actually returns our return. It returns uh, whatever would be returned in the shell. We read it and we decode it as UTF-8. This does have one downside though. If we have a bad call like LSL, we will actually get a error. Uh, no such file or directory LSL, which is the same we would get as we would get in the um, bash shell. So these are three ways to execute uh, external commands. I usually recommend subprocess.popen because it allows you to do waits if you have a long-term execution, and you can also do more things to make sure that this process is still running. So I hope you all learned something today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.